You see, my mother was not of noble birth. She was brought up with ideas of equality, of women's freedom, and all of that. When my father courted her, she declared she would never marry him, but she did. So. And I, I came into the world against my mother's wishes. So I learned later, of course, and I was taught everything everything that a boy must do. I was taught to ride and saddle and hunt. In fact, all across the property, all of the women Servants were taught to be the men's work because of that the property came down by the men. So we became the laughing servants, which is my words with my words. There's no fucking way I can concentrate. What is... What is going on? Two guys, no speaking, all, all in silence, and they pop out of this black and white screen. They're like a Laurel and Hardy team, and then they can't escape the theater or get back into the screen. That's the play. Fucking awesome. Best thing I've ever seen in my life. Dinner, just the three of us, tonight. With mom? Yeah. Um, no, I got, I got to finish up writing, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna my work too. But you didn't finish your homework? I'll finish it with Samantha on the subway, it's fine. Speak of the devil. Come on up. Finish up your homework, please. Fine. Come on. It's okay. Well, she 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 knows me now. I know. I, I, don't I, know, know. I know. I know. I know. I know. But she's you know. She's, I don't know what 
bitchy face. It's <laughs> gonna be all right, okay? I promise. I promise. Mm Time with my actors. Just, just don't interrupt my process. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> hey, um, yeah. Alright. Uh, okay. I gotta go. Ah, hold up. Better, 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 I like that T-shirt. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Says a bitter, bitter, bitter. Okay, let's get started. Now, I want you guys to walk around the room and really feel your character. Nice. Excellent. Christine. John. Julie. John, I want you to go up to Julie. Get closer. Closer. And take her. This is bullshit. Take her! Just take her! Take her! Yeah! Let's go after her. Please, 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 please. Jesus Christ. Another break? Yeah, five minutes, please. Please go after him. Thank you. I was really in it, too. I saw. Thank you. Come now, John. Don't you want to dance with me when you're through? Of course I do. Wine. The line is, is that a promise? And Adam, we talked about this. Can we lose the accent, please? That's why I forgot okay. the line. Okay, okay, yeah. But I deeply disagree with that. I'm sure you do. Thank you. I'm just saying it again. All right, Thank let's you. go. From the top. Come now, John. Don't you want to dance with me when you're through? Of course I do. Is that a promise? It is. Don't wait for me. Please, I'll, I'll be back. Is it done? I believe you ladies have secrets between you. Curious are you of the secrets between women? Come now, John. Come back to the barn and dance with me. I don't wish to be impolite, Miss Julie, to anyone but I promised the next dance to Christine. Oh, Christine. <laughs> oh, she, she can have another. Isn't that so, Christine? Won't you lend on to me? It's not for me to say if Miss Julie is so gracious. It's not for me to say no. Miss Julie, if I may speak plainly. It may seem strange to prefer one of your underlings over others that covet the same honor.
to prefer. What a thought. I, the lady of the house. I honor the people with my presence, and now I feel like dancing. I want a partner who knows how to lead. As you command, Miss Julie, <laughs> I'm here to serve. You mustn't look upon that as a command. The whole village is dancing, drinking, in holiday spirits. Rank is flung aside. So, give me your arm. Give me your arm. Don't worry, Christine. I shan't steal your fiance away from you. Okay, let's hold there. Thanks, guys. And, uh, can I talk to you? Yeah. Uh, how you doing? Okay. I just... I don't think you're going far enough. We're in week three, and it's just... It's just whatever you're doing, it's not well, working. Uh, yeah, well, um... She doesn't even know her fucking lies. Oh, this show's not about her. All right, it's about Julie. You're Julie. Hey, just go home, spend some time with it, okay? Okay. Great. Sure. All right, what else? Thank you. Um, Miss Julie. Yeah, obviously, Miss Julie. Um, I don't, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is my order. I want to know. I'm so okay? sorry, let me fix that for you right now. All right, cool, sorry thanks. Miss Julie? Yeah. With who? Well, just in general. I mean, just in I general, don't, like, the compare myself, you know, and then we get into this whole other discussion. With that you, becomes... obviously. <laughs> this will be the best production. Well, I mean, Naomi is completely miscast. I mean, she's clearly fucking him, no? <laughs> you signed on before she was even cast, right? Yeah, of course. Ladies, it, it, this is not news, all right? We've been rehearsing for weeks. Yeah, but, I mean, Christine is the cook. It's she's dowdy, spinster like. I don't know. It's it's Naomi's gorgeous. It's really annoying, actually, Adam. I know. She looks like she stepped off the fucking Chanel runway. You don't know. I mean, maybe it'll be like Monster. Maybe she'll uh, she'll pull a Charlize. Audiences eat that shit up. I can't believe you're defending her right now. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I stand corrected. Look, Anne. People aren't coming to see her. They're coming to see you. You're the draw. You're Julie. And besides, Wells is a top director. Uh, no, 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 no. I would not exactly call him a top. Well, he's up and coming. OK. He wasn't, he wasn't happy with me today. He's never happy with anyone. The day Wells is happy, Strindberg rolls over in his grave. Why do you work for him anyway, Thea? You're like, you're so much better than this, I feel. I mean, he doesn't even know your name. He's a visionary. His production of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof changed my fucking life. And as I say, it's Theta, darling. It's addictive. Oh, fuck, I gotta go. Emergency production meeting in the morning. Why? Who knows? Naomi's costume's probably too tight on her ass. So is that your new thing? Are you kidding on the under 21 set? She's 22. Oh, okay. There's actually a big difference, like the difference between top and up and coming. Mm-hmm. You're an asshole. Do you know that? You're an asshole. 
What was that fucking fit about? Anyway, why? Why do you act like this? Why it was kind of it was, it was kind of crazy. Adam. We're not in fucking drama school. We're professional actors, okay? I I hate all that theater exercise bullshit. Wells pulls out of his ass when he doesn't know what to do with us. It's like a tick with him. I'm not gonna participate anymore. It's not what I signed on for. Mm. What did you sign on for? Excuse me, where's that beer? Hi, ladies. What are you? What are y'all doing? Girls made out. Oh, that's nice. Please. You guys old friends? Uh, yes. Is he? That's cool. Are you, are you an actor? Yeah. yeah, why are you, you seeing me in some? I feel like I, right? What if, what if I you feel like you look familiar? I do, I do a lot of stuff. Most, I do a lot of theater around here. You guys see plays ever? No, oh, no, not really. No. Okay, well then, uh, I mean, I've been on every New York TV show that there is. Uh, Law and Order and oh, all that. Oh, that. Bonk, are you a Law and Order fan? Hey, Sadie. Where's your dad? In his room. Oh. How was your rehearsal? It's okay. My mom told me about it. Your play. I think it's really great. Oh, yeah? You know what I was thinking about today? What? You were 11 when I was born. That's younger than I am now. No. The girls at school say men in their 40s don't stay with women their own age when they can just have women in their 20s. I just think my dad married you to prove something. I mean, could have stayed married to my mom and just had you on the side. That would have created an interesting dynamic. Or maybe that did happen. It would have been like a, like a side project for him. I mean, you still are a side project to him. Where's Sadie? She's in her room. <sighs> Fuck. The ending of this play is gonna fucking kill me. Yo, yeah, well, I don't understand why you don't give it to somewhere else. It's under commission. Yeah, to her. Well, no, to the theater company where I built my name. Yeah, but you were married to her, Tate. Not the theater company. Oh my God. I don't even want to get into this. I'm I'm sorry. I'm Hey. I'm tired. What's, what is this? Hmm? Well, I'm under pressure too, you know. I know. No, you don't. What the fuck are you talking about? You didn't even ask me how I am or, or how rehearsal was. Well, you didn't give me a chance to. Yeah, I, I've been here. 
downstairs for 30 fucking minutes. I don't, I don't know. Well, you've been up here listening to your fucking jazz music. I've been down there talking to your daughter who's been slandering me. <laughs> She's 14. She gets it from her mother. Wow. You're right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thanks. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure what I'm sorry for. Oh. Wait, but I'm sorry nonetheless. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> hey. You, no, you, you are so fucking selfish. You are, you're, you're so selfish. And just maybe like a little bit charming? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and kind of <Hey>. cute. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Right. Joe Gilmore. Oh, Night and day. Do you have your dance clothes for tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you did you eat some real food? Are you hungry? Do we need to stop and yeah. Helen? Get... What's going on? What you forgot I still have a key? Sadie? I can sleep. I have a test tomorrow. Sweetheart, it's okay. Listen, um, why don't you go down and wait in the car, okay? Mr. Louis is down in the car. I'll see you in a sec. It's okay, honey. Okay. I'll see you in a sec. Okay. This wasn't, um, this wasn't part of the agreement, Tate. It's your week. You know, I tried to call so that I wouldn't have to come up here, but I guess you know what, Helen, otherwise I don't even know aged. what's going on, okay? It's late. I didn't even know Sadie called you for the- Are you finished with the play? No. Okay, I'm just momentarily stuck. I guess your muse isn't really serving her purpose. You know, I read that she is, um, she's doing that play with uh, Adam Shaw. That sounds interesting. And um, Naomi Lawrence. That she'll be the real draw. Helen, that's enough. Sadie tells me that uh, <sighs> Anne keeps having these breakdowns. That something about this part and Everything that's going on, working on Miss Julie, it's all, it's all too much for her. Is that true? Because I'd rather not have my daughter around some damaged actress. Okay, she's my daughter too? Oh. Yeah, don't forget that. I see, it's just, it's just that I'm the one who's been taking her to every single lesson, to ballet, to tutoring, you know, just, just being a parent. And, and what have you been doing? Sitting around this apartment that I pay for? Contemplating your existence? I want a full custody, Tate. Yeah, I know. Well, uh, this would be the third strike against you. 
No, I'm, I'm not gonna pay 30 grand a year to send Sadie to the best prep school in Manhattan only to have her fail her exams and call me to say that she can't concentrate because her father and that girl won't shut oh, up. good. So you acknowledge that I am her father then, oh, right? Jesus Christ. Look, I don't even know what's happening, all right? It, Anne's not even here. I didn't know Sadie called you, so I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Do? I'm done with it. I've been done with this whole thing, okay? You know, almost every time that Sadie comes over here, something happens, Tate. So things have got to change. Please don't do this. Do what? Be a mother. You know what, Helen? It, it's late. No, what? You want me? You want me to go? Yeah, I think you should go. You want me to go? Yeah. Why don't, why don't you just leave? You know, I was the very first person who believed in you. I was the first person to read your words that really mattered. You remember that? And I thought you had such a voice. I believed in your voice. I thought, here is a powerful new voice. He has something to say. It's, I fought for you, for your words. You would have been nothing, nobody without my help. And then I found you on, I found you on the fucking staircase with that, with her, with the fucking understudy. In the theater where we met, where we worked together and created together and shared everything. We had so many fucking, I just thought, well, this is this is it. You know, my life is over. How did you how could you do that to me, to our daughter? Just Fifteen years, take. Fifteen fucking years. Well, I guess I just never thought it could happen to me. <laughs> I know you, Tate. I know you think I don't, but I do. I know you, and I know the reason that you haven't been working or showing your face around isn't because you're sitting in here writing. It's because you're a fucking coward. And you're too damned ashamed. You know what? Actually, um, I don't. I don't need your uh, new play. I found uh, another playwright. He's a young voice. It's fresh. I know we were supposed to take it to the board on Monday, but I'm gonna go with this new playwright. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't pick up Sadie from school tomorrow. In fact, don't try to contact Look, her. Helen, you can't do that. Oh, I can. And I will. I don't want her here. I know. I, I don't want her here. I'm I know, hey, she has the right. Hey. How can you let her speak to you like that? Dang. Anne, 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 wait. wait.
It's a little hard with this. Well, just, oh, it's like an edge, so you can just. <sighs> okay, it's not going to be accurate, but um, all right. Um, no, sorry, there's no way you can take this off. <sighs> okay. Um, well, I might as well just get your neck. <laughs> This is just got a call from Ellen Armstrong's people. They say she's releasing some kind of statement. What? What's going on? Do you know anything about this? I mean, she's my husband's ex-wife. We don't exactly talk. Yeah, look, I don't know. Anne, okay, she's fucking powerful. She runs the biggest off-Broadway house in the city. I don't know what she's gonna do or what she's gonna say, but people will listen, okay? It's about reputation. This is only my second big show in the city. I don't think you understand. Oh, I understand. This just... This can't be my problem, okay? We're too close. Thea, how we doing on time? Not good. You can't keep wasting everyone's time by showing up late. Do you understand what I'm saying? Anne, we have to get started. Just give me a minute. Where'd she go? She needed a break. Let's take 10. Everything okay? Oh. I... Yeah. Should we go back in? They're gonna get rid of you, you know? What are you talking about? Oh. Don't act like you weren't expecting it. Everything has been leading to this moment. And the thing is, I was born to play this part. Not my part, yours. Julie. And it's gonna be me on that stage, and Adam will fuck me so hard until... Ow! What the Get fuck? Up. What's going on? She just fucking pushed me. I'm putting in a fucking complaint. Uh, wait, no, uh, Thea, she's fucking insane. How do I even know what she's gonna do on stage? Are you hurt? I don't know, possibly. I can call someone. Yes. You know what? That would be great. I would appreciate it if you would call someone because the thing is, I feel unsafe. I feel in danger. Where's Naomi? Naomi's taking a personal day. What the fuck? Can I take a personal day? No, you cannot. Just a little higher. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, let's get started. Can I take take on this petticoat situation? No, I have one that's authentic, um, and I have one that has I really need to know this. Enough. Really, but I really enough, think we, well, enough, I, I enough, enough. Thank, thank, you, thank you, thank you. That's fantastic. You are wonderful. You are perfect. Thank you. Now, let's take the scene from the top, whenever you're ready. May I be excused? Give me a toast. Give me a toast. Good health to the lady of the house. No, sorry. Can we, can we, can okay. we go back? It's okay. Just breathe. I just felt a little lost. I, I... Go to your room. Talk and listen, okay? May I be excused?
Give me a toast. Good health to the lady of the house. Bravo. Now, you must kiss my shoe. Go on. You must do as I command you. <sighs> you should have been an actor. This mustn't go any further, Miss Julie. What if someone were to come in and find us? Oh, what, what, what harm would that Give do? them a chance to gossip. And if you knew how their tongues just were, oh, why, why, were dancing, why, why, what, what did they... I asked to be excused. May I go to bed? Go to bed? On Midsummer's Night? Dancing what? out there with that pack has not amused me. Oh, well, then, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I want Four to days? see the sun rise. I, one would think you're, you're afraid of your, your reputation. I am not willing to lose my post. Now that I'm about to settle down, and I feel that I owe something oh. to Christine. OK, so it's, it's Christine now. Yes, but it's you too. Take my advice, go up and go to bed. Shall I obey you? For your sake, I beg of you. Go to your room. I hear them coming. If they find us, we're lost. Hmm. The people of the village, they love me. Let them come. Well, you see? I love you, Miss Julie. No, I take your food and I spit upon your kindness. Believe me. What do we do? We have to run away. Where? Where? We can't, we can't go to my room. We can't go outside. Where are we gonna go? Into my room then. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Now we have a play. Oh my God. That was incredible. You have a reputation, you know. Did you fuck Naomi? Because <laughs> she really wants me to believe that you did. Yeah, she left today. She claimed I pushed her. Did you? I wouldn't judge you if you did. Did you fuck her? Because I wouldn't judge you if you did. You know, I, uh, I only did one bad thing. Like her. Like Julie. <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't even that bad. <sighs> Circumstantially, morally, maybe, but... I don't know. <laughs> Adam, you can't help, you can't help who you, um... Fuck. I think you can. Oh, well, um, I think that depends on who you ask. So, it was lust with Tate. Okay, You um, asked me about Naomi, I'm asking you about Tate. Tate's my husband. Um, Naomi is just an actress. So are you. 
So that's it? That's really how you think of me? That's it? Not exactly, but I'm pretty sure that that's how Tate saw you at first. You know, that thing you just said about lust? It's a pretty unforgivable thing. Is it? Yeah. It is. I mean, lust is, it's, it's different than love. I mean, it can, it can turn into love, maybe. But then, then it becomes dangerous. We should go home. But you don't want it, do you? I want to ask you something. I need you to answer one thing. Why did you do this show? I was doing this checkoff season upstate. <laughs> it's pretty weird. A bunch of pretentious grad students. Uh, yeah, I thought my career was over. And then Wells calls me up, told me about this, and he said that you were playing Julie. I didn't care about whatever happened, and I just wanted to be on stage with you. Simple. So when you asked me before if I just thought of you as some actress, well, it's beyond that. I don't know. I don't know how to talk about this shit. You don't have to. Kiss my shoe. <laughs> 